Today, I'm gonna to show you how to truss on the new Stake Gauger Pro 40. So you have your brand new Stake Gauger and it is a beauty, but how do I get this on? A couple things we're gonna to cover today is, number one, what is dry aging? the proper way to truss your meat into these new racks. This racking system is awesome. So we're gonna go over that. And uh, at the end of the video, we're gonna go over a little bit about what dry aging is, because I get a lot of questions on, is it safe? Well, how does it work? What, what's going on there? I just put that back because I hate taking it out of the steak ager. Uh, but I'm doing on a daily basis, a little picture of it and a video of it to show the progress day by day. So in 42 days from now, we're gonna see exactly how much this has changed over time. So you get the full picture of start to finish. When I was holding it up, that was day three. So you can already see that there's been a lot of changeover going. What I'm gonna do now is walk you through wrapping it and putting it in the truss and the best way to do that and then at the end, I'll go over all the reasons why you dry age.
So as you can see, that was a very easy process. It took me roughly five minutes from start to finish to get that in the truss rack and to string it up. Very simple, boom, then it went right into the stakeager where it will now start its 45 day process. The very cool feature about the stakeager is it has an app that goes with it that tracks your temperature in your fridge, humidity levels, and the countdown to when you've reached perfection. And for this first try, I'm going for 45 days. Now, if you're new to dry aging, all right, why would you do that? Why would you let it break down, let the enzymes work in your favor? Because it's gonna create a very tender, flavorful cut of beef. It's gonna take your steak from here to there in no time. Now there's a lot of science that's, that goes behind all this, uh, humidity levels, temperature levels, what's happening to the meat. And I gotta be honest, the thing I like most about the steak ager is I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I just need to wrap it, put it in there, and let the machine do the work. To be honest, I would have failed college biology, but lucky for me, the professor I had it was his 45th year and he was senile and he just wanted to get out of there. And that's probably the only reason why I passed college biology. So I've done a lot of research on this where I'm really trying to understand every aspect of it, but then I realized I don't need to worry about that. Stakeager is worrying about all that. There are certain things I wanna know, what looks bad, what looks wrong, if your meat starts turning green, that's a red flag for you. But for the most part, this process from your regular bright red grocery store cut down to a real dark, uh, the bark that forms on it, there's a special name for it. I always mispronounce it. Uh, I can't even think of it right now. It's called pellicle. Pellicle. Why can't you get this? Pellicle. Anyway, we're gonna trim all that back and what it's gonna leave us is a beautiful steak that you would pay 60, 70, 80 dollars at the restaurant for. So I let Steak Ager do all this work, all the science behind it, and I'm just gonna enjoy the process and keep moving forward. Once again, a very simple process on the Steak Ager Pro 40 on how to truss, get your beef right in there, line it up. They made it so simple. They, the metal bars in there actually measure an inch and a half, so it's perfect for cutting your steaks just right, and it's gonna turn out delicious. Now, if you wanna continue along with this process with me, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell with the notifications so you'll be notified anytime I release a video so you can come along this journey with me on dry aging this beautiful, beautiful cut of beef, and we'll leave it right there. I hope you guys have a great day.